Sometimes your annotation task requires that you annotate objects in videos by bounding boxes. In this video I will demonstrate how you can do that automatically with the help of video object segmentation. As an example, I have here the video sequence of a tiger slowly walking from left to right. In total this sequence has 41 frames. Manually drawing precise bounding boxes around the tiger in every frame requires a bit of work. Let's see if we can do any better. We go back to the first frame and annotate the outline of our tiger. First, we make sure that the right label, tiger in this case, is selected. Now, we use interactive segmentation to label the tiger with just a few clicks. So first select the AI button and draw a bounding box around the tiger. In the upcoming dialog add positive and if necessary negative clicks to your object and select OK once you are satisfied with the result. Now. This is important, we must select the tiger with a right click, so that its borders are marked by a yellow color. Next, we choose VOS set initial frame from the menu bar. This initializes video object segmentation and tells it what object we want to find on the other frames of our video sequence. Once this is done, we select VOS on image range to specify all images where we would like our objects to be annotated. So, we make a left click on the image next to our start image and scroll down all the way to the end of our sequence and make a left click while also holding the shift key on the last image. This selects a total of 40 images which are now marked by the blue stripe next to them. Let us click OK to automatically process all the selected images. Depending on the speed of your computer and especially if you have a CUDA enabled graphics card, this will take a couple of seconds to several minutes. As you can see, video object segmentation has done a nice job of annotating the tiger in every frame. Next, we select all the annotations by pressing Ctrl and the P key. All the annotations now have yellow borders. Choosing Create Bounding Boxes from the tool menu creates a bounding box for every object selected. Please note that if you have multiple objects with the same label in an image, they will be treated as one object with several parts, and only one bounding box around all objects will be created. If you're only interested in the bounding boxes and not the contours of your objects, you can simply delete them by selecting Edit, Whole Project, Delete Selected ROIs. The bounding boxes are automatically labeled with the original label of our object, that is Tiger in our case, plus dot underscore underscore B box. Let us select this label and turn off the color overlay so that we can see the object and the bounding box better. You see that the result of this procedure are high quality bounding boxes. If some bounding boxes are not quite right, you can simply correct them by hand.